Hello, this is Johnny. I um, just want to do a quick video, let you know uh, what's coming up next. Uh, I will do a video tonight and get all this thing put together. Right now, I'm burning the image as we speak. Sorry about that. Uh, so, this came in my mail yesterday uh, from the retro, retro uh, rock. Uh, his video that he had done was that he had uh, put the Raspberry Pi in the system and we're going to add a video call. This one came from Amazon.com and I'll give you the, the link where I got this one. And the Raspberry Pi, uh, uh, this is the particular brand that I got from Raspberry Pi. It's supposed to help me to keep using, uh, able to use the same screen. So what we are doing right now is we're going to hack this system because I'm getting tired of the system uh, well, not tire, but, uh, the game system is great, but I like the joystick and the button and the screen size and everything. And I feel it would be so awesome to make this, uh, a real true arcade and play the true arcade ROM and everything. And it would be the smallest arcade ever, uh, and you ever carry around. So it would be cool and it will be more affordable than trying to build a big arcade like uh, uh, using the the arcade cabinet called uh, uh, iCat the red one that you guys saw that I used to have that one this is very hard to find one of those and modify it because that system now is probably going to cost a uh, hundred to two hundred just to get the cabinet uh, it is a full side cab, a mini, a bar, bar top cabinet, and this is a mini arcade. So it's cheaper to, to buy one of this and use the case, the joystick, and the screen and modify it to a true arcade experience because it does come with six buttons. So it's, it would be cool to modify this. So that's what we're gonna do with this video. We are going to uh, do a quick uh, open up box. And the second video, stay tuned. I will show you how I put tear this apart and make this happen. Now, this one is a very important key, uh, second key functionality, uh, which is it's going to replace the retro RK uh, system board, which is going to tie in your joystick, your sound, your amplifier, and your power and your Raspberry Pi all together into one and to make this happen. So, uh, I this was sent to me yesterday. Uh, I will give you the link of the Raspberry Pi, uh, not Raspberry Pi, the description of the Facebook, uh, the link, uh, uh, where to get this. Now, this one is pretty cool that it, it comes with everything. Uh, the company that made this is called the uh, R G R, right here on the board. R G R development development. Uh, they uh, R G R represent retro game restore. Okay, and that's their company name. All right, they're the one who developed this. Uh, this is the the I believe that's the power, and then the the two uh, ex, uh, external controller that you could plug in, and all that cool stuff. So we are going to plug this with the, everything to tie in together. Okay, and this one is the one from uh, Adafruit. This one is the one that's going to uh, tie in the, the video screen, the 4.3 screen, with the Raspberry Pi. So this two, this we're going to tie in with this, and this is going to tie in with the, everything together. Okay. So uh, let's open this one, see what kind of Raspberry Pi uh, card that I got. Uh, the one I got is a Raspberry Pi B Plus. Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It's the latest version and the way you can tell is that it has silver uh, Raspberry Pi logo on it and this is also silver. The old one is, is black. Uh, it doesn't have this uh, Raspberry Pi icon on it. So this is the B, B, uh, 3B plus version. It's a plus, X, 
the other one is a 3B. This one is a Raspberry 3B Plus. Okay, this one is supposed to be much faster and it's supposed to uh, have a better, uh, you know, keep the the temperature and everything. Okay, and let's open this one up real quick. See what it looks like. Now, one thing bad about uh, uh, Ada Food that I noticed is is uh, sometimes when they do a demo or selling some piece of product, they don't really give you a very detailed or instruction how to use their parts. You have to like go into their site, Google it, YouTube it, search it to find the information how to get their system board to work. Okay, and that's one thing I do not like about Adafruit is that they do not provide you the information exactly or the link to go to get this and to make it work but uh, this company the RGR they were nice enough to give me the configuration information that I need and the only thing I had to do is just copy and paste it to my configure on uh, I think I believe configure something dot something file and modify it and then the screen will work so that will be cool so I'm going to plug this in with the Raspberry Pi okay all right, so stay tuned for that. And uh, this is just a quick video to let you know what I'm working on. So what I already did is I already opened those four buttons here. You just pop this uh, plastic thing right here, pop that out. And then uh, then you take the, the you're using the Phillips school, screwdriver and take those out. Once you take it out, you just uh, pull on this thing here like that. Put your finger in it, and there you go. That's easy, okay? You just pop it open. So we're going to unplug. We're going to unplug the the cable, the black cable, and then we're going to take the, the system board out, and we're going to replace it with the new one called the RGR, okay? And I'll give you the link of the Facebook, the guy who gave it to me, but uh, give me some time to put that description in there because... Uh, um heading toward the church going to church t today today sunday so let me go to church and once i get back then i'll put all this together and i'll show you the step by step but just a quick video let you know i'm working on this i know a lot of you a lot of you are waiting for me to hack this hardware to make it where the playstation work the dreamcast work because we've seen so many uh demo on youtube and but nobody talk about how to get it working. Everybody's like, how come they're doing demo on Dreamcast and PlayStation and we can't even get it to work? You know, this is crazy, you know? But now you could able to play Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Game Gear, Amiga, anything you want on this system and it will work, okay? So we're gonna do all this upgrade and see how well it works and I'll give you my opinion at the end and we're gonna compare it with the original before we hack it because I have so I got two more of this that I want to hack. If it work well, I probably will make one, change the the put some sticker on it and design. I guess he forgot to send me the the sticker because he was he was gonna send me the sticker so I could put it on it. So he forgot to send me that. <laughs> but uh, he does have the the he will he could make you sticker for you and all that stuff. So you have to uh, you know, Facebook him, uh, sign up with, join the, the group, and he and you could you know tax him and stuff like that, and he probably could uh, work something out with you and everything to make you have a better design, and everything for for the the mini arcade and put some cool design on it. All right, all right, stay tuned, and I'll get back with you today. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.